here's how to bar lace Nike Air Max 90s. Get a hold of your lace and we're going to thread each lace end down into the two very bottom eyelets here from above, just like this. Let's take the first lace end down, pull it through but not all the way, swap to the other one. Take the lace end and bring it down through the very bottom eyelet on this side, but don't pull it through all the way. Instead, get a hold of the two lace ends, make sure they're equal, hold your sneaker, pull that through. And what this means is your laces will come out of equal length on either side. It's okay just to fix any little twists that happens. Then we're going to keep a hold of this lace and we're going to skip an eyelet on this side and instead we're going to bring it up into the third eyelet on this side from underneath. So I'm just going to wiggle that through there to show you and we're pulling it up through this eyelet here leaving this one empty. Then we're going to keep hold of this lace, bring it over the sneaker tongue and we're going to take it down into the corresponding eyelet from above on the other side. So that should be the third eyelet up from the bottom on this side and we're taking the lace down into it like I've just done. Now we should be left with these two holes and we're going to fill them in with this lace. So take this lace end and on this side we're going to bring it up into that empty eyelet from underneath, pull it through. Now remember you can play this video on a half speed if you like or pause the video, there's literally no rush, just go at your own pace. Then we're going to keep a hold of this lace, bring it over the sneaker tongue and down into this empty eyelet here just to fill it in. So wiggle that down into that one from above, pull it all the way through and you can really see our bar patterns forming now. Keep a hold of this lace, thread it underneath that bar there just so it's got free movement and then we're going to repeat this pattern. We're going to skip the next available eyelet and instead we're going to take the lace end up into the one above that from underneath just like this Pull that through, looking good. Then we're gonna take this lace over the sneaker tongue and down into the corresponding empty eyelet on the other side. Pull that through. Then we're gonna swap to the other lace and fill in the empty holes just like we did before. So take your lace end, bring it up into the empty eyelet on this side from underneath, just like this. Bring it over the sneaker tongue and down into the empty eyelet on the other side. Looking good. Great. And then we're going to take this lace end underneath that top bar there just to give it some more movement like we did before. And we're going to repeat the pattern one last time. So we're going to skip the next empty eyelet here and instead we're going to take it up into this very top one from underneath. Just like I'm doing here. Wiggle that through. Pull it through like that. Awesome. Then we're going to take it over the sneaker tongue and down into the very top eyelet on the other side, the corresponding eyelet. Pull it through. Just pop that lace out of the way. And then we're going to fill in these two empty holes for the last time. Swap to the other lace. And we're going to bring that lace up through the empty eyelet on this side first. Take it over the sneaker tongue and down into the empty eyelet on this side. Just like this. Great. Then we're going to bring it up underneath that top bar, just like we've been doing. And then we're going to take a second here to adjust the bars to our liking, just to make sure they're all sitting with equal distances between them as much as we can. Then you might be wondering what we're going to do with these excess laces. We're just going to bring them together and tie them in a little knot. Like this. And then we're going to tuck them down inside the sneaker behind the sneaker tongue and they'll just sit down inside the sneaker. Now that shouldn't bother your foot at all, these laces are super soft, and it ties up the lace ends in a neat way, keeping the pattern looking really crisp. Repeat on your other sneaker and you'll have a really awesome pair of bar lace Nike Air Max 90s. If you found the info in this video helpful, please hit the like button for me to help it reach more people and consider subscribing for more sneaker lacing content. I have loads of styles available to help inspire you guys. Thanks.